Welcome back, Seth Wing here. Today I've got a new design for a sequential counter, and in particular I'm going to be using this sequential counter for a life total counter. So like in Mario, when you only have five guys left, and each time you die you lose one. So this, these, this set of redstone lamps acts as my life total, or my, my remaining guys. And so I have five right now. If I go ahead and kill myself, I'm going to respawn, and the system is going to subtract one. I'll be down to four. And each time that I die, it's going to subtract another one. These lights are right next to each other, which is really nice. It's very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> uh, so, and then each time that I die, I also spawn right here on this uh, glass pane here, or this glass block that is uh, out in the middle of wherever because of a command block. When I die my last time, I'm on my last guy. When I die, um, I'm going to respawn, and it's going to tick down to zero lives, and I will get encased in a glass cage. I am out of lives. And now all I have to do to reset the system is provide redstone power to this block or this powered rail, and uh, this minecart, which is key to the whole system, will head back to the top, and I'm back up to five lives, and the whole thing is reset. So let me go over how this works. Now, it's important to note that I used command blocks with it, and I made a life counter out of it, but there are a lot of, a lot of applications for this that have nothing to do with command blocks that you can probably use in your own survival worlds. Um, but basically the idea here, here is that my spawn point is set on top of this pressure plate, and each time that I spawn, I get teleported over to the glass block over there. But um, That's not really important for the redstone. When I sp every time that I step on this pressure plate, you'll see that the minecart here gets pushed down to the next level uh, of, of pressure plates. This minecart gets pushed down to the next level of pressure plates, yes. And when it does that, that's what controls the counter here, and it does that by using the 15 block uh, uh, signal strength limit of redstone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. all the way over to here is where it ends because it's on the third pressure plate down. And so that's what displays the life total over here on the display. And we can make this display a little bit isolated. We can hide all the redstone by just very easily. And so each time I stand, stand on the pressure plate here, it triggers all of the pistons. But since, oops, I missed. Uh, but but it'll only push the minecart by one block per pulse, be, just because of the way it's set up. Um, and then on the last one here. Uh, I'll have to remove, well, whatever. I'm going to get teleported. Um, when I step on it, it's going to drop the piston. Oh, we're not on the last one, are we? We still have two lives left. So, Okay, so then on the last one, it's going to push the minecart onto this powered rail. It's going to push it up the hill. It's going to trigger this detector rail, and so therefore this command block, and put it here, and that'll teleport us a little bit. <laughs> um, and then now the minecart is here, uh, it's not on any of the pressure plates, so we don't have any lives left. All of these pressure plates over here are clear. And and all we have to do to reset the system is push the button here to provide a redstone signal to these powered rails. It'll send it back up the hill and to the top. Now, it is important that I have this iron bars here. And specifically, it's, it's important the direction they're facing. You'll notice, if you look from the top, the iron bars are kind of lined up with the center of this piston. What that means is, when the minecart's coming along here, it's going to hit the iron bars. It's just going to barely graze it. Whoops. Barely graze it. And it'll drop, uh, basically, so that half of the minecart is in front of the piston here, and half of the minecart is on top of the pressure plate. Now, this allows us to trigger the pressure plate, while also allowing us to control the minecart with the pistons. Very important. And uh, another thing to note is, when the minecart is on the pressure plate, it'll trigger the piston next to it, which just is not important because uh, when I step on the pressure plate here, it's going to trigger all of these pistons, including the one here. But after I do that, the minecart will no longer be on this pressure plate, and that's what allows the minecart to drop down to the next level. And so that's what we can see. It's no longer on this pressure plate. So when I step off the piston, uh, step off the pressure plate, the piston is going to retract and allow the minecart to drop and it all works out. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, it's pretty compact and quite useful. It's expandable to probably 12, 13, something like that uh, 
lives or uh, values for the counter. And so if you'd like to look at this for yourself, there is a download in the video description where you can download this and fly around and play with it, use it for whatever you want. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching. Thank you.